Last year we watched as Prelude took shape in the bustling shipyards of South Korea. Now far off the coast of Western Australia, another vital aspect of this world first project is beginning to emerge. Deep beneath the sea, Prelude is connected to a critical network made up of Christmas trees, manifolds and flow lines, all connected to giant anchor piles. The role of this network is to control the flow of gas. This is the last manifold before the gas gets to the FLNG. And what this is, is a safety device. If there's any issues with the subsea, the valves can close here and it prevents the hydrocarbons from going into the FLNG. With construction of the systems now complete, the job of the subsea team was installation in one of the loneliest places on the planet. I've never worked anywhere as remote as Prelude. There's hundreds of kilometres of ocean in every direction and we're working 250 metres below the surface. In order to do this job we needed 200 people and six vessels mobilised from all over the world. Like here in Henderson, Western Australia, where the giant anchor piles were manufactured, then loaded out for deployments. We've got a lot of activities going on, and you've had the design and the construction and the movement, and it's really critical that we got it planned well and it's safely executed. And in Karatha, where the four Christmas trees were loaded on board the North Sea Atlantic. We're mobilizing right now. It's been a really good controlled lift so far. We've got one tree down, the second tree is coming on right now. We've got two more to go, but once, once that's on, we're basically good to go for the campaign. In total, six mobilizations across three different countries involving 10 vessels were acquired before everything was finally in place. Basically, after two and a half years of design and uh, fabrication and testing of all the trees on shore, we're going to go offshore of these four trees, put them on actual wellheads now, um, and, and get them wet. And on the 8th of February, the construction vessel, the North Sea Atlantic, set sail. Her destination, the Prelude gas field, a three-day journey. Working at sea, and especially on the ocean floor, is like working no other place on the planet. Prelude's particularly challenging because they have very strong currents both on the surface and subsea, and quite often you cannot see anything on the seabed. The moment of truth had arrived for the subsea team. Installation began with an anchor pile. Communication is number one with us really because if uh, our comms fail, things can go wrong pretty quickly. Right, Kimbo, we might as well start. You copy. First, the fully loaded barge was brought into position. With everything in place, riggers then stepped on board and the lift could begin. It's an operation that required everyone working as a single unit. With the barge now clear, the vessel was steered into position and the anchor pile carefully lowered into its new home. Hopefully if this is the last time we see it for the next 25 years. Uh, it goes down the seabed and it just stays there. In the water, the operation enters a completely different world. The ROV crews become the eyes and the arms. By the time we get to the seabed, we will lower this um, because of the weight of the pile. It will sink below the seabed until it's about 8 metres below seabed. And state-of-the-art technology allows a team of surveyors to track each movement through 250 metres of water. Yeah, go on, Scott. Yeah, yeah it looks pretty good. The result? Even with near zero visibility, the giant structure can be guided into position with pinpoint accuracy. Yeah, we're happy with that. That's good. One down, three to go. Preludes, manifolds, Christmas trees and anchor piles are now in place. The campaign was completed in 21 days, eight days ahead of schedule and without incident. Quite frankly, this is the best campaign I've ever been involved in. It was down to personal responsibility. People both in Shell and our contractor technique really took ownership of their scope. 
They innovated when they had to and they delivered a safe, efficient and high quality job. That's everything you can ask for. And step by step, Shell's Prelude FLNG project has moved one step closer to becoming a reality.